Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Silver Dot International. First of all, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let's continue with the show. So I started stacking about a bit longer than a year ago and in the coming months I'll show where I currently stand with the stack, my thoughts after a year of stacking and if I'm doing or going to do things differently. The most important motivation for stacking for most of us would be preserving wealth and perhaps for a minor part investing. I also like to invest but on a small scale and some years ago I also stepped into the world of uh, stocks and cryptocurrency. I did that maybe for uh, 3 months because I'm not really the kind of person to delve deep into the matter. Uh, I lacked the time and I also didn't have a large interest into the complex uh, world of finances. And with almost everything uh, when you want to succeed, yeah, you always need to give more than 100% and you need to keep on top of that game. And yeah, being a busy person and not very interested into the scheming uh, world of stocks and options, I stopped and uh, sold uh, my holdings because it's a thing where you can lose money very fast if you're not uh, into it. I'm uh, one of those persons that believes in the quote, if you don't hold it, you don't owe it. I need to count my uh, stack this week, but I'm guessing that in uh, one year I've accumulated uh, almost 3 kilos of uh, silver and some uh, fractional gold, so that's what we all do it for of course. So last year the feeling to do something with uh, stocks came uh, up creeping again and some weeks ago I made a uh, trading app account and there are many out there but I'm using the plus 500. It uh, has a lot of stocks from all global indexes but not all stocks that I see sometimes reviewed on uh, YouTube are available. I'm not into call or put options, I'm not aggressive on low high 5 minute candlesticks, uh, so I'm sort of a passive uh, investor only mining my business with uh, stocks. Most of my precious metals budget will go into the physical stuff of course, but I always wanted to have some shares of uh, mining companies. This uh, leads to an ethical dilemma because we all know what uh, damage human activities in all sorts of manner uh, yeah, do to Mother Earth. So I balanced some uh, questions and things for myself and yeah, decided to continue with it. So I deposited about uh, $300 since I got a little Christmas bonus from work and bought some uh, shares in Australian mining companies. I've chosen companies that are in different delving operations like gold, iron, lithium and copper to diversify a bit and plan later this year to check out some Canadian mining companies. I think some of you recently heard of the GameStop Robin Hood situation and the following suggestion to buy shares from first Majestic Silver. Now the funny thing is that I bought some silver vintage rounds recently which arrived this week and when I opened the package I remembered not only buying a bunch of uh, vintage silver rounds but also a round that I thought had a cool Aztec design and when I looked at it better I saw that it was actually a first uh, majestic silver round. So I thought, hmm, could this be a sign? So I checked out the news about the company, some of the interviews with the CEO Keith Neumeyer, uh, researched the firm and its holdings, predictions, etc. And um, yeah, <laughs> I now also have a small part of shares in uh, First Majestic Silver. I was uh, late to the par uh, party sadly this week, so I bought at a uh, high of uh, around $18. But hey, Silver is going to shoot to the moon soon, right? Woohoo! Yeah. Of course my main goal will still be the physical silver but I'm uh, yeah, seeing this as a small experiment and who knows where it will lead to. And I'm uh, not a financial advisor or sponsored by a first Majestic Silver. We'll keep you updated on how this stock will be doing in the coming year and if you're interested also how the Australian mining companies uh, will do that I have positions in. I know for example that our community friend Vogas is into stocks, but uh, yeah, are some of you into stocks? And uh, yeah, if you are, uh, which stocks do you have in your portfolio and do you think owning a bit of mining shares is a good thing? Yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching and wishing you all the best with stacking, collecting and investing. Goodbye, take care of yourself.